What's up guys, it's Jaco, and before we get into today's video and what Rockstar has planned for their future upcoming titles, I'd like to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Grand RP. If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. As you know, in the community, GTA and Twitter and Take-Two Interactive were blowing up on Twitter over the past weekend, and some content creators made some videos on it that there was this Take-Two stock meeting or whatever, and they were going to announce GTA 6 to, you know, boost their stock and earn all this bunch of money, and that there's going to be trailers for GTA 6 coming out. Obviously, it's been like a week now, and that's not the case. I, I mean, some people had hope, others didn't. I definitely did not have hope. But they have announced that they are going to be remastering eight of their past titles. A couple days ago, IGN posted an article on their website stating that Take-Two has plans for eight more remasters or ports. Take-Two, who owns 2K Games, Rockstar, and Farrakis, I don't know how to pronounce that, among others, announced that between now and 2025, plans to release 24 immersive core games. GTA 5 will finally, maybe possibly get a mobile port, while remasters or ports of previous games are on the horizon. Yeah, and the other little bit that you guys may be interested in is that they actually announced or pretty much said something about the Red Dead Online community begging for more development, the save Red Dead Online hashtag. They actually said something about that and they made a case that they haven't been ignoring it and they do have plans for updates in the future that it's not going to be ignored anymore, but I don't know how much I'm going to believe of that. Um, that's up to them and I'm not going to believe anything until I see an actual update. So yeah. Now, they didn't say in the article what those remasters or ports are going to be, other than GTA 5 possibly getting a mobile port, which is actually crazy to think about. I mean, 10 years ago, it could barely run in an Xbox 360, and now it might even possibly be running on our iPhones and Androids, which is kind of nuts. I'll leave that article in the description, by the way, if you want to check that out for yourself as well. And reading some more of the other games they have planned from their other little baby companies, we're here to talk about Rockstar and GTA and what they could possibly bring to the table with the remasters or ports last year if i remember correctly they said if the gta trilogy remaster did well that they would most likely remaster gta 4 and red dead redemption 1 which would be pretty exciting but honestly uh, not that great because like like i said they're gonna be remasters they're gonna be repolished they're gonna be a new set coat of paint you know they're not there's nothing's gonna be game changing there's not gonna be new content guns or cars or anything like that they're not gonna get new online updates so don't expect anything crazy from these remasters they're just gonna take what the game is now just make it a little bit prettier you know throw on a graphics mod make the textures look better i don't know and if we learned anything from the gta trilogy remaster released last year in november is that getting our hopes up is the last thing that we should do I personally am sick and tired of the silence that Rockstar always gives us every single year, year in, year out, and it just makes you think whether it's going to be an actual GTA update, well, or a Red Dead update, you know, who knows what they're going to bring to the table next, and, you know, stuff like GTA Plus that just comes out of nowhere is just really frustrating, but apparently they have their sights set on some old games to be remastered, which is good news. I'm excited for their GTA 4 remaster, to be honest. I'm curious what you guys think down below as well, if you guys want to comment whatever you think. Whether it be Red Dead 1, GTA 4, Bully, I think a Bully remaster would be really cool. Revamp some of the controls of that game especially, because that game came out way back in PS2. I think modernizing some of the controls and movements for that game would be really nice as well. GTA 4, like I said, I think would be a pretty cool and exciting remaster, especially if they brought online back. Online wasn't anything crazy like we know today as GTA Online, but I think playing some bomb to base or doing some of those really old races would be kind of cool and nostalgic. I don't see myself playing it for years on end, but it'd be a cool nostalgic little trip. I would definitely give the campaign or story mode a replay and play online with my friends like I used to do back in the day. It's kind of how I fell in love with GTA was GTA 4 online and the shenanigans you can get up to in that game and how nothing really mattered. There's really no progression. And that was kind of the beauty of it because you couldn't lose anything and there wasn't anything to really compete or grind for. It was just purely fun, which I understand a lot of people don't 
kind of want these days. People need progression. People need the serotonin. But back when I was a wee lad, I just the brain didn't work too well, and it's just <laughs> just kind of whatever happened happened, and whatever I played, I just enjoyed somehow. I don't know. Red Dead Redemption, another big remaster that they actually talked about was. Um, I'm not too excited for. I think seeing the story would be cool remastered, but the map is already pretty much redone and remastered on Red Dead Redemption 2. In fact, it's probably better on Red Dead Redemption 2 than whatever they're gonna make for their remaster, whatever. And the online was nothing special, similar to GTA 4, but there's no real progression. Actually, I think there was a leveling up system, if I remember correctly. Uh, comment down below if you remember. I believe there's XP and you could earn weapons, but other than that i don't really remember much about it so if you if you you know played a lot of red dead online the first one i should say uh let us know what it was like i'm genuinely curious a bully remaster in some of the old possibly gta games like gta 1 or 2 i think would be a little overkill but a bully remaster would be really cool because the the cult following of bully is so incredibly large and uh so passionate about the game and definitely want to see a sequel a remaster wouldn't exactly be a sequel but it'd be something for those guys that really love the bully series I personally think GTA 5 on mobile, making that a mobile port, it will just end up being a disaster. It's hard to make a game run and just play the way you want it to play on a console or a PC. It, despite it being powerful enough to be able to do that, I just think I, I, I don't know anything about it, but I don't really have any hopes for it. I'm not too crazy about it. I, I, I think it's overkill, to be honest. But yeah, with all that being said, I don't really think there's gonna be much to be looking out for in the recent months or maybe even a year or two. I think they're just gonna kind of plop it on us maybe at some point and just say, hey, we're remastering this game, pre-order now. And they're gonna, you know, kind of just force pre-orders on us without any trailers or gameplay. And then there's gonna be people buying and there's gonna be people not. I personally am excited for a GTA 4 remaster. Red Dead Redemption I can live without. A bully remaster would be really cool. Let me know what you guys think of the possible remasters or just uh what you guys think of the remasters in general it is late may now so we should be getting a gta online update or news about it soon that's the frustrating part with rockstar games is that they will be silent and not say a peep or say anything until uh then boom it's it's there and then we have an update or a new game coming out a week or two or even a remaster coming out in a week or two and then you just kind of we're just kind of expected to buy it but that's really all i have to say i hope you guys enjoyed and stay till the end thanks again to grand rp for the sponsorship and really partnership, we're going to see a lot of Grand RP in future videos or streams. Uh, that's what you guys have been seeing in the background. Obviously, it isn't really GTA Online. So if you guys are interested in the background gameplay or GTA RP in general, I would highly suggest Grand RP. Top link in the description. Use my referral code and use the promo code GRAND now to get an extra 25k. It'll be a big bonus to get your life started. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the remasters. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.